It's raining out. My drive is down. I kind of just want to sit here and look at my fish. Hey, what's up guys? My name's Tobias Monk from Lit Video Productions. We make epic videos for epic companies. And today on my vlog, I just want to talk about um, keeping yourself motivated and, and moving. Today is a Monday. <clears throat> it's been pouring buckets and, you know, kind of woke up overcast, it's dark out. The rain makes me sleep. I don't know about you guys. I find it very relaxing. And uh, what am I doing to kind of make sure that I'm still progressing and moving forward? Even though, like I said before, all I want to do is hang out and stare at my fish, which, as a creative, sometimes that's just what I do. While I'm thinking of stuff, I might sit there and watch my fish. And it's just something to kind of keep my eye occupied, but I'm in my back of my head, I'm still sitting here working, producing something. So, what can I do? I, I think right now, the thing is, I, I, I feel sluggish today. I don't feel as motivated. I didn't do this vlog last week, and I at least pushed myself to do this much today. So let's, uh, uh, I don't know. I, I feel like I still I still had a bunch of phone meetings. I'm setting up some stuff. I've kind of looked at my calendar over the next two months and just what productions are going on. So I am doing some work, but maybe I just, it's because I'm not grinding so hard right now because I actually just finished a bunch of edits. Um, I have some other edits that are like in their finalizing stage and we're just kind of doing back and forth, doing the final producing, making sure certain, certain things are being taken care of, but I'm not physically working on anything right now. Yeah, because these were finished and these over here are almost being finished. So now it's more like, all right, let's set up the next couple months. Let's start making some phone calls to some people that we either need to wrap up something that we were fin working on or they want to start before we start getting into these cold months here because right now I'm already looking into September, which means I'm already kind of focusing on the fourth quarter of this year. As I get out of July, August, and then September, I'm, that's where my head's at. And I know I'm going away for another week and I just gotta make sure I'm doing stuff. So what am I doing to motivate myself? Coffee. Mm. Lots and lots of coffee, but no, <clears throat> seriously. Um, one thing that I find is you do a lot of work when you're working for yourself, you end up doing a lot of work and not realizing you're doing work. So that's why I make my daily lists, which turn into sometimes weekly lists. There's certain stuff on there where it's like, I realize I might not get everything done in a day, but it needs to get finished within this time frame. So as long as you're doing that and you're constantly knocking some, you know, something off, you do get that sense that, okay, I am doing something. I'm working towards something. I was talking with my accountant earlier today and two of us actually got off of accounting subject and just talking business business subject and like where what's something I can do to help um, you know get a standard operating procedure an SOP in place for when I work with an editor as I'm a producer on the video and then I have an editor editing it what form needs to be in place so the editor gets that so that they already know what's going on to make sure that the process is sped and more timelined and everybody's just communicating better. So that's something that I'm gonna work on this week. Um, let's uh, let's just talk about some un, un, something unforeseen that I happened. My Canon C100 battery charger stopped working on me. I was storing this in my bag, wrapped up. I would have the power cable plugged in, and it was probably something like this. Realized so this part right here stopped working, and I would have to sit there and like hold it at a, at a severe angle to try and get it to 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 turn on. And the camera is only on battery power, so let's go ahead and um, see if we can figure out what's going on. Try to unscrew this thing. They don't want you to get in, so I had to drill out the screws to even get inside to see if I could do anything with this power supply that wasn't working. Why was I having to do this? Honestly. This is way beyond uh, uh, my skills. I was, you know, just going to check and see if I had any connection issues, anything like that. It's way past warranty and all that. That's why I went ahead and just broke it open. Who cares? At this point, I got to buy a new one. It's discontinued, probably because they knew they were having issues with that part there, but they won't say that. So now I've got to buy a new one, $165 later. That should be coming soon. Why am I deciding to make that money investment? I don't know. I feel like I'm just rattling today. Let's go back to the fish. Like, you know, it's the middle of summer right now. Yes, we should always be grinding, 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 but you know, sometimes you gotta take some time to just look at your fish. Whatever hobby you're doing, whatever it is, you know, take some time, work on that, work on some other life stuff. 
the week will start going. I'll start getting into it more. I think I'm just getting off of a 4th of July celebration and just, I don't know, it's just the middle of the year, looking at where my numbers are, where they need to be going. That was one thing we did talk about earlier was where my current numbers are. Oh, I'm rattling on. So let's talk about just motivation. Let's go back to motivation. How do I keep myself motivated? At the end of the day, I know I've got an end goal in my mind that I'm working towards. And I realize I'm looking at three, five, and 10 year plans. Like that's kind of where my head's already going. I know after a decade of cranking, this company's gonna be somewhere. As long as you just keep working and you keep, you always gotta excel. That's the th biggest thing is to excel. Don't get complacent. Don't get to this point. Don't get to a point where you're just working yourself. Like in the book, The E-Myth, um, they talk about working in your own business as opposed to on it. You wanna work on it, not in it. So I'm still in that phase of, of getting that juggling act worked out. I keep looking at the monitor over here, I'm very sorry. Getting that juggling act worked out, but I know I'm gonna to get to the end of it because if I think about where I was a year ago, I think about where I was two years ago, I think about where I was a decade ago, and my career has gone in, in a great, you know, I've slowly but surely gained more and more experience have got paid more for my experience, have gotten better at what I do, but I just feel like I'm getting warmed up. The best is yet to come. That's the beauty about doing anything in life where you're just gonna work on it and get better and better and better is the best is yet to come. And if you know that about yourself, like whatever you've done today is great, but wait till I, what I do tomorrow. Like you're just always gonna be up in yourself and you know that your quality of work's gonna keep getting better because you're gonna keep working on different things. That's one of the beauties of being in business or being a creator or anything like that in general is time will tell. You just keep working at something and you're gonna get better at it. If you're not getting better at it, then maybe you need to change how you're training yourself or what failures you're doing and what you're taking from it. Maybe you're not making the corrections that need to happen to turn those failures into a success. Now, it might take a lot of failing to get to that final success, but that's part of learning. And don't be afraid to fail whatever you do. Get out there, do it, try it, fail at it, do it again, try it, fail at it. Eventually, you're gonna keep getting better and better. And if you keep doing the exact same thing and keep failing without tweaking it, then you need to go back and reset your mind, redo a different mindset and going into it. So I'd love to hear about some of the ways, such as what do you do to keep motivated, especially on a rainy day like today, um, middle of summer. I've been in the house for a couple of days, watched Stranger Three season three, Stranger Things season three was fantastic. I loved it. Um, tear jerking at the end there, just so well put together. The way they shoot it, they, they're, 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 Getting the time period and the look is just, they're, they're on top of it, on top of it. It's really nice. Um, although I couldn't help but wonder watching the scenes of lights flickering, what unit they're using to flicker those and what DMX and stuff. Ah, being an industry person. But yeah, no, what are, what, what are some things that you do to keep motivated? Even if it's something small, just to say, hey, it's cool, take a day off, or you've done some work. You know you're gonna do some more work. I mean, I don't know, my brain's just always working. That's the problem. Last night, trying to sleep. Couldn't sleep that well, 4 a.m. up, thinking about just this week and things I need to do or where things are going, so. Well, in closing, I hope that you stay motivated. I'm gonna to try to keep motivating myself. Let's knock this video out. Maybe if I can edit something early in the week, I'll feel like I'm accomplishing something. Cheers to that. So until next time, everybody have a fantastic day. May your week be epic. My name's Tobias Mug from Lit Video Productions. We make epic videos for epic companies. That's a lot of epicness. Back to back to back to back to back. At any rate, all right guys, have a good one. Cheers, peace. There's my burp for the episode. Mmm, moosey chicken and coffee.